much, Stevens. Home Secretary, Pretty Patel. My dear friend, Pretty. Uh, we go a long way together. Uh, I came here for the first time to meet you when I was a Deputy Foreign Minister. And starting from then, I realized you're really, really a big star in British politics. And you, you made the promise you, you, you were supposed to make, and we're so proud in your work. Uh, combating terrorism, fighting all types of extremism, and fighting anti-Semitism. Thank you so much, Pretty, for the great work you do. <laughs> we couldn't have been here tonight without this endless effort of those amazing gentlemen like Lord Eric Pickles. Thank you, Eric, for everything you do, so many years for Israel. Uh, Lord Stuart Pollock that always wants me to call him Stuart. So Stuart, thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you so much for always being creative and thinking what else can be done in order to strengthen in the bilateral relations. And did you see Stephen Kraft here? Um, I would like to thank Stephen for the great work he's doing. And in general, all the CFI team, you are our best friends in the UK and you do incredible work that really contributes to, to the prosperity of to our wonderful democracies, our wonderful countries. So tonight, we are celebrating. First of all, we are celebrating uh, great achievements. CFI is an organization that can deliver. CFI is an organization that stands behind actions. And I would like to thank you for all the great achievements. This year was very, very fruitful. So the first thing I want to mention, as extremism goes and rises, just like Lord Peoples mentioned, and as Hamas takes more control on the spirits and the hearts of the Palestinian people. Unfortunately, the incitement, um, the horrible things being heard by the leaders of Hamas were killing 19 Israelis brutally just in the last month. And your work here to fight this radicalism to make sure the Palestinians will be held accountable for incitement, will be held accountable for the textbooks for the kids, stopping financing those textbooks, stopping giving delivery, uh, the backup to the Palestinian Authority as long as the minds of the young children is being poisoned. This is part of your work to, to understand that the future, in order to reach our peace, we need to have better leadership and better education. And I would like to thank you for that. I also would like to thank you for your effortless work when it comes to boycotting Israel, all the BDS, um, you know, um, all the things that are going on, both in campuses, and when we see um, the, the initiatives that are being heard against Israel, you're always there in the front line to help us to fight BDS. I also would like to thank you for standing in the front line when it comes to Israel's security. Um, the Iranian issue is still the main, uh, the, the main security issue that Israel deals with. And I would like to thank you for standing there together with us to make sure that Iran will never reach into nuclear weapon and to make sure that the Middle East will be a safer place, another place that will be led by radicals. The last thing I would like to mention is the delegations. You can't really know Israel without experiencing it, not just visiting, but actually going through amazing tours that CFI has been doing for years. I would like to welcome the new parliamentarians, the people that are just experiencing how wonderful it is to be part of the CFI family group. And I'm, I'm welcoming you all to Israel. Come again and again to see and experience the miracle, to understand the challenges, to understand the complexities, complexities that many times are not being reflected on British media or international media in general. And I'm so happy and I'm so proud that even the 2019 intake uh, parliamentarians already are part of this amazing project of ongoing delegation. We would like to thank you all for what you're doing. You're great friends and we really, really appreciate. The State of Israel really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you very much. Thank you.